We're here at Winkle Park. We come every fall for our annual Walk for Independence. It brings together all of the people we support from all over Orange County, serving people with developmental disabilities. We do supported employment, independent living, supported living, and we have positive behavior support programs. But today is about celebrating, celebrating independence, celebrating healthy living, helping people be a part of their community. And so it's really the only time that we bring all of our staff and clients, volunteers and families together for a celebration. All right. I feel like a rock star because this year uh, they've identified the uh, board members with these crazy hats. The clients that are participating in the walk uh, have a card and one of the things they're being asked to do is to have a board member initial their card for them. So as I'm walking around, I have all kinds of people running up to me and asking for my autograph, which is kind of a cool thing if you're not used to it. <laughs> What we want to do is encourage socialization and to get our board more involved with the people we serve so they can get to meet everybody. And so it kind of meets a number of different needs. When people get here, they check in. Most people have been pre-registered, so it's free to all of the people that are a part of Project Independence. And then community members pay to cover some of the cost. But then after check-in, they go and work out with the boot camp. We also have a number of community organizations that are exhibitors that come and promote healthy living as well. And so each of the people have a passport. They get a raffle ticket when they visit an exhibitor, take part in an activity, and for every lap they make around the park to really encourage participation in the walk. With those raffle tickets then, we have all of these donated baskets that people can pick what they want to win, and it really is just a fun day. I'm having a blast. I'm meeting a lot of new people as well as see, seeing old friends, meeting new ones, always working the crowd. I uh, ran six laps today and I met the volunteers that were along the route because as you run each lap you kind of get to know those volunteers and then after like the third lap I gotten to know them well enough to talk to them. Probably half of the people here are people with developmental disabilities and the other half are community members coming out to support people with developmental disabilities. We have neighbors that come out because they live next to our guys. We have co-workers that are here that are friends, just like everyone else. So the primary purpose is to raise money. The secondary purpose is to have fun. We're here to support Annie Negretti. We've been coming for, I don't know, like six years, seven years. We're supporting purple today. We do a different color every year. We're here to support our aunt and this program that gives her the ability to be independent. It's what it's all about. She loves it, we love it. She gets to show all the people she's with every day, all of her family that she talks about. Uh, I work at a doctor's office, so I get the practitioners to come out and she gets to introduce them to everybody and show them what she does every day. And that's, uh, that's special to her, so she gets real excited. This is Christmas, her birthday, everything rolled into one. It's hard to say no to that. For 40 years we've been working with people with developmental disabilities and we work for, with people with the most significant and complex lives to people that, that need just a couple of hours a month of support. So it's really a wide range of support that we offer. And we help people live in their own apartments and live lives with dignity. We just want people to have lives that mirror their non-disabled peers. And so this is another way of helping the community to see people with disabilities have value and worth and who help promote our supported employment program. So it's a really great place and it's a great place to work. Our staff has more compassion than I can even imagine having, because it takes such patience and understanding. They're just wonderful. It just feels so good to see people that need Project Independence help 
gaining that independence. You know, when we go to the grocery store and we see somebody bagging our groceries, we never think about how they got the job, how they get there, how they get home. You know, when they get home, who takes care of them, who makes their meals. It makes me feel terrific just being part of a team that's helping those people. They love me, they respect me, who I am. I, you know, role model. So I kind of, you know, inspire, inspire people, inspire the family. If somebody is different or has difficulty speaking, people tend to be unsure of how to communicate. And so what we want people to do is to talk more with people because over time, you understand them better and to get over any fear of otherness. And our guys are as valuable and interesting and unique as everyone else, so they bring a lot to the community. That's the one, okay.